and welcome back to another episode of Tube Talk. Tube Talk. Tube Talk. Welcome back, Albert. Where we've been picking the winners at regular intervals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Should we start off with last week's runners? Yes, let's do that. Let's whip through them. First off, we had two winners. The first being Sentiment... Sentimental Miss. Yeah, and we talked about it briefly last week, but... I want to talk about her again because it was such a dominant win. And it, it was a crossover. It was on last week's Tube Talk and this week's. It's kind of just happened. And very exciting one. And she's now going to go to one stakes on the 30th of November, Group 3, and then to the Eulogy Stakes. So, um, uh, and looks a very progressive horse. Mm-hmm. And then we also had Severine who won. Yes, middle day of Cup Week at Rickerton, first race. Uh, only a fourth, fourth. Fourth start, she'd gone fifth, third, second, improving all the time. Big field, three off Philly, 18 runners, barrier 17. Sam spread aboard, great staying run, got up on the line to win. Lovely stake, um, good field, very progressive horse. We'll now go out for a break for about two weeks and then we'll set her for the South Island Triple Crown of Guineas races in, starting in January. Mm-hmm. We also had a Paid 26 bucks. We also have Beltesta, who ran second on Tuesday. Very good staying effort. Second up over a mile. We knew it'd be too short for her. We thought she'd run about fourth or fifth, but she stayed on. Whole way at the straight, ran second, not beaten far. Is in the best form of her life. Is heading towards the Dunstan Stayers Championship and can pick up black type this preparation as a stayer. Mm-hmm. And finally, we had Passing Shot, who ran third in the Yesberg Pegasus Stakes. Yeah, uh, Wet Track was against him, but he led... Kept fighting for third, another listed placing for him. He also ran the stewards, but didn't quite back up. So he'll have a little break now. Only, like, well, he'll come back. He won't race again for a month. We'll let him get over this. And you'll probably see him stepping out to 1,400 metres next start, where I think he'll be uh, very uh, potent at this preparation. Great mm-hmm. old horse. Awesome. Um, moving on to this week, we have got seven runners. Starting on Friday at Royal Kaka in race two, we have got Iridani. Very good filly, very fast filly. Uh, good draw, good jockey, Danielle Johnson. Should either lead or be outside the lead or handy and very hard to beat. Mm-hmm. And in race three, we have got Ship Shape. Ship Shape, second up, talented three year old filly. Uh, ha- uh, has drawn barrier six. She'll probably jump very well, but would like to get cover with her. She just over raced in the front last start. So if we can jump. Put her up there on the speed, hopefully get they come across, get a bit of cover, she can end up in the one one, something like that. But with that first up run under her belt, she's ready to race to to be much improved second up and is a definite winning chance. Mm-hmm. Um and in race seven we have got quick preview. Quick preview, a horse that was desperately unlucky first up, had no room, has drawn barrier 14 and 15, has absolutely no luck. He'll get back in the field, he'll need a lot of luck, but he'll be getting home very well. He's um, he's a ni- nice star in the making. If he'd drawn well, he would have been my roughie of the week for everyone. Mm-hmm. And on Saturday at Rickerton and Race Fun, we have got two runners, and we will start off with Black Pearl. Black Pearl, fresh up. Um, we've set her for this race. Uh, 1,400 metres, Sam Sprit on board. She's a leader, and Sam's a very good jockey for horses at lead. She'll come into barrier eight. She's also in race 11. And if she makes the field in race 11, she comes from barrier three, which is better for a bigger stake. We're happy to run in either race, but it's likely she'll, she'll be running in race one. Mm-hmm. Um, set her for this race, should run, should lead, will be handy, and should run well. Mm. And the other runner in this race is Major Issue. Major Issue, six on the ballot, needs six scratches to make the field, unlikely to make the field. But if she did, is a real chance. Desperately unlucky last start, we're still looking for gaps. She ran second the start before. She's a fully, she's a mere going the right way, and a win is not too far off, but I don't think she'll make the field. Mm-hmm. And on Saturday at Rickerton in race five, we have got Sanctify. Sanctify on the listed uh, welcome stakes. First up, she only ran sixth, but she was in the barriers for 12 minutes because of late scratching. At her first start for a two year old filly, not ideal. I believe she should have been unloaded, so that upset her. Uh, she's drawn the outside barrier again which is difficult, but we've got Sam Spread on board, great barrier rider who can get her out, um, and it is a real blowout chance, a filly with a lot of ability. Do not be surprised if she runs in the money at long odds. Don't be surprised. You've been warned. Mm-hmm. And finally, on Sunday at Waverley in race three, we've got Maidstone Park. 
Yeah, unfortunately, we're drawing really wide with her. She's a staying filly, an Oaks type of filly, and the further she goes, she's gonna, the better she's going to be. She's up to 1,650 metres, but unfortunately, she's drawn, like, I think she's drawn with barrier 10 of, of 13. So she's probably going to have to get back and in a lot of luck. So it's going to be a race for her, another educational race progressing on the way through. And as long as she's hitting the line well and making ground, we're going to be very happy moving forward to her third start. She'll come into her own once she gets over 2,000 metres and further. Mm -hmm. And finally, we move on to bed of the week, which this week is <coughs> Expression. Running at Rickerton and race seven in the 1,000 guineas. It's a horse that's been a bit of the week before. I think she is an exceptional three-year-old filly. She's got a beautiful barrier drawer. Inside drawer, I think it's barrier two. I think there's some serious doubts that her major opposition will run a mile. I don't think she's got any issues running a mile. Uh, she trialled up beautifully for this. She's had a great, uh, last week, she's had a great preparation for it. Um, and I think she's the one to beat. I think she's $2.40, something like that. And I, uh, fixed odds, I think it's good money. I think she is the best horse in the field by some margin, and I think she'll win. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Albert. This has been Tube Talk. That was a very good Tube Talk. Very efficient. And we'll see everyone next week. It's Bye. Good. Into the final furlong. My wife knows everything. The wife doesn't know. They're one, two. Of course they are. My wife knows everything in front. To the outside, the wife doesn't know. My wife knows everything. The wife doesn't know. My wife knows everything. More than the wife doesn't know. Miss Tallahassee was third, and Morningside Heights was fourth.